Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. Gosh, I cannot tell you how fucking happy I am that Scott Walker won in Wisconsin in the recall which uh, attempted to oust him from office because of his direct and blatant attacks on unions and collective bargaining, especially in the public sector up there in Wisconsin, which, I might add, was completely and wholly subsidized by the Koch brothers. So once again, uh, happy to see that the free market is working so well in this country where if you have enough money, you can buy everything, and this should be a blatant example of it. The fact that the wealthy cock brothers can so massively inundate a campaign with money so that they can win even in the face of massive opposition should help you to realize that wealth and money and power in this country is held within the reins and the control of the money elite, the banks, the finance houses, and those people who are the most wealthy. So, thank goodness for the free market for saving us from uh, a possible debacle by uh, Scott Walker in Wisconsin. Uh, so, uh, just be sure and stay tuned to see who gets more money in the coming election because that will be the deciding factor. And of course, that's the free market in action. Let's let uh, everybody just pour as much money as they possibly can into ensuring that their guy that will do absolutely everything in his power to see to it that your needs are met whenever he gets into office. And never mind all of the thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people that are actually voting for you in an attempt to try and have somebody actually represent them. So, for all you fucking assholes out there who fail to see the significance and ramifications of total all-out naked working for a fucking wealthy benefactor as a governor of a fucking state, pretty much just taking his orders directly from motherfuckers who are fucking billionaires, who basically lay down the fucking law telling him this is the way it's going to be. You go there and do it. And that's fine with you. And apparently a bunch of fucking stooges, because they were inundated with ads and everything else, don't mind the fact that their motherfucking governor, who is supposed to be the elected representative of the fucking people in Wisconsin, is completely owned and paid for by the motherfucking cock brothers who will rest at nothing short than destroying every fucking vestige of labor anything in this fucking country that's designed to support and try to get better wages, benefits, and everything else for people working in this fucking country. And just as another example of this in the news today, Walmart comes under fire once again for subcontracting their warehouse and distribution network in such a way that almost all of these people are working for a myriad of different firms, which makes it very difficult for any kind of unionizing to take place. So they're, they're very skilled at this, you understand. These people uh, barely make more than minimum wage, if they make more than minimum wage at all. They work in very demanding uh, conditions where they're required to lift heavy loads and work uh, very long hours. They do not get health benefits. And this is one of the ways in which Walmart transfers its price and its costs down the line to other people so it can sit there and keep making this massive amount of profits on the backs of people who do the work and don't get any kind of just compensation for the work that they do. This is just another example of privileged, wealthy people, and let me remind you that all of the Walmart siblings are in the top 100 richest motherfuckers in this fucking country. But it's not enough 
that you have already taken over every fucking market in this motherfucking country. No, that's not enough. You have to continuously hammer your own fucking workforce by doing all of this du duplicitous fucking bullshit and subcontract it down to 50 different fucking entities that run your fucking distribution network so no one can even figure out who is where and who works for who in order to even attempt to try to unionize these people in an effort to try to get them some kind of decent fucking working conditions. No, that's not good enough. You have to keep pouring it on, just like the fucking Koch brothers. You're not, you're not happy. You're not happy with your 50 fu fucking billion dollars. No, sir, that's not fucking good enough for you. You have to have your 50 fucking billion and a couple more million, and at the same time, you have to shit on every fucking worker in this motherfucking country. And I hope you're happy sitting up there in your fucking Wisconsin with your motherfucking Scott Walker. And I hope he gives you everything you fucking paid for. And everybody up there in Wisconsin who is going to sit there and see a couple years down the road how motherfucking bad that fucking shithole the state is going to be being run by these fucking robber-bearing motherfuckers. I don't want to hear any of you motherfuckers crying up there. And let's have a word for Mr. President Obama, who did jack shit. If I see anybody anywhere ever try to even slightly make an argument that Obama is in any way concerned about any motherfucking worker in this motherfucking country, I swear to God I will not be responsible for my fucking actions. Because he sat there idly by and did diddly fucking squat in that election. And that tells me he doesn't give a fuck about you or anybody else in this country, let alone the working man. Yes, all of you wealthy out there, you're living high on the hog now because everybody can be bought and paid for. So fuck everybody else. Fuck the workers. Fuck all of the labor in this motherfucking shithole fucking piece of shit country. Because you're not happy with your 50 fucking billion. You gotta take a few more pennies out of my motherfucking pocket by making me work for some kind of fucking temp agency hauling your fucking shit to sell to make your motherfucking profit. No, it's not good enough. You have to keep shitting on us. And hopefully somebody is going to finally wake the fuck up and say, you know what? I don't want to be shit on anymore. Thank you. Good day.